Probably the biggest uh, decision that we'll make during our administration. This is about the future of the city. This is about the water that basically sustains life. What is the shape for the future, right? What, is the, what does the system look like for the future that will best serve our needs? Well, it looks like we have a perfect storm of, of many, many problems. Uh, from an engineering perspective, they are not insurmountable. We have a system that has been neglected and ignored. We are going to have to invest in that system. Think of it as the People's Water and Sewer Authority right now. What is the water system that we need? We have a system right now where only half of the water we produce is ever making it to a meter. So we don't know where it's going. Is it falling into the river? Is it going down into a creek? We're really not sure what the, what the problems are within the system itself. One out of four dollars that we spend can't go into improving our system, can't go into abating lead crisis. One out of four dollars goes simply to paying off the credit card bill. There are 5,330 water systems in the United States right now that don't meet federal standards for lead. We're one of them. It's not just Pittsburgh and Flint. It's an entire national problem and there's no national policy nor program to be able to address it. Today is the first day of an administration taking ownership for this broken organization that's been broken for over 20 years and saying we're not kicking the can down the road any further. We're gonna solve it. PWSA, the way that it's organized, it wasn't carved in stone. It came about about 15 years ago when we needed $300 million to put into our pension funds. So we created this organization that became an authority that then gave $300 million of debt to the city of Pittsburgh in order to be able to fix a hole with our pensions. It was never created to create safe drinking water, long-term investment, the ability to keep rates in check. In fact, it failed, it failed, it failed at all three under the present structure. Those are the facts. It's a very, very challenging opportunity. But I know that there's a solution, and I know that you'll help to guide us to that solution. What doesn't happen overnight can't be solved overnight. So we need to have a long-term strategy and a capital plan that looks at this in the next 10 years. And we don't want to be able to just tell ratepayers, you have to pay it all. We want to find creative partnerships to be able to lower that cost so we won't force people out. What I'd say to people is this, the safety of your water is one of the most important things that America can do. I am directly involved now with PWSA. We're offering free water filter systems to make sure in the short term that we are addressing any concerns you may have. We know through the county health department that the number of cases of lead being traced in children has been decreasing over the past five years, not increasing, and that we don't have cases coming from water. They're coming from paint, dust, and in the land itself. That's where we have even a bigger crisis with lead. And that we will, by the end of this year, have a restructured PWSA that will be able to address all the issues that people are concerned about.